what value must x take on in order for the following equation to be true? 7 divided by x plus 3 is equal to 9 divided by x plus 4. So to start, we need to get x out of the denominator of each of these. So to do that, I can just multiply by a common denominator, which would just be the product of these two denominators. So if I multiply everything by x plus 3 times x plus 4, I can get rid of both denominators at the same time. And on the left-hand side, the x plus 3 in this numerator will cancel out with the x plus 3 in this denominator. And on the right-hand side, this x plus 4 in the denominator cancels with the x plus 4 in the numerator. So then I'm left with 7 times x plus 4 on the left. So 7 times x plus 4, and this is equal to 9 times x plus 3. And from here, I just need to distribute the 9 and the 7. So I have 7x plus 28. And this is equal to 9x plus 27. And now our goal is to get all the x's on the one side of the equation. So I can subtract 7x from each side. And now I'm left with 28 is equal to 2x plus 27. And I want to get the x's by themselves, so I can subtract 27 from each side. So I have 1 is equal to 2x. And now dividing by 2 on each side will give me my answer. So the answer, therefore, is x is equal to 1 half. And a problem like this is fairly straightforward to check. If we go back to the original problem here, if we just plug in 1 half for each of these x values, we'd have 7 divided by 1 half plus 3, which is just 3 and a half. And this is equal to 9 divided by 4 plus a half, which is 4 and a half. And notice that since 3 and a half is just half of 7, 7 divided by a number that's half of it is just 2. And the same thing will be true on the right, since 4 and a half is just half of 9. So 9 divided by a number half of it is also equal to 2. And since we got the same answer on each side, we know that our answer 1 half for x is the correct answer.